in any environment or most business environments, um, your, your costs are, are fairly steady year on year. You have annual cycles. In the South African gold mining industry, in addition to an annual cycle, there's also a little three-month cycle right in the middle of the year when we pay significantly more. We pay a tariff, which I believe is an exchange for Eskom holding aside or keeping aside adequate power for the mines. Now, whether that is an honest or, uh, or truthful uh, promise, whether it's an undertaking that would, the one could really rely on from an operational perspective, I'm not sure. During the winter months, the high consumption months, there's this additional surcharge. So that 60% surcharge, uh, which is added over that three months, has in fact become a significant component or a significant cost dynamic. Electricity costs have effectively doubled over the last uh, three years since the first major increases started coming in. So, I mean, our total electricity bill is, is around about a quarter of a billion rand, 250 million rand per annum. With the gold price having gone up the way that it has, I mean, make no mistake, the, the gold price having also almost doubled over that same period of time, I think to a large extent assisted us in absorbing the impact of the, of, of, of the, the increases itself. But you add on top of that increase another 60% surcharge, and then you see your, mar your, your margin really uh, eroding. Nobody's really looked at this from the perspective of monopoly pricing. Is there real value, or is it just, uh, or is it just another uh, practice for which there is no commercial basis? If Eskim has just uh, introduced this tariff without a proper commercial basis, what sort of legal um, frameworks are available to, to evoke? I think at the very least, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a tribunal and a remedy in terms of which unfair uh, monopolistic practices could be investigated. I'm a gold bull and a, and a portfolio manager. You know, There's been nothing in us, for us in this industry for quite some time now. Nothing for investors whatsoever. For a company like ours, that's a lot. It was just under 30 million rand for the quarter. We would, in fact, have had a 6% increase in our cash operating profit, but for the fact that we had to pay this 27 million rand fee to ESCOM. I think the time has come where, in a responsible way, we have to engage those entities, those government institutions, those parastatals, who impact our lives. What you are doing is hurting our industry, and it's hurting it in the sense that we are not achieving the margins that our competitors are achieving, we're not achieving the return on capital that our competitors are achieving. We're not giving people sort of the long-term comfort that South American countries increasingly are giving foreign investors. And these are the things that we can do and that we should do, which are on par with a global standard and which will restore our position as a global leader in the mining industry.